this millionaire trader Alex Jenkins in here, y'all. We um coming to do another analysis for you guys. Cap JPY is what we're talking about today. I'm looking at hit the day chart here. And we got a few more um indicators on the chart here. We got the MACD histogram and we got the stochastic full on the, on on hand. So we want to discuss. I got a few things I want to discuss. I'm going to discuss divergence as 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 usual. We have divergence here. And we have the as the as the momentum indicator moved down, the market moved up. And there was the trade at the supply zone where previous highs were. All right. And the market fell tremendously. All right. So I just like to identify certain things for you guys so you guys can you know, kind of get used to seeing it and seeing what happens. All right. So right now, you know, we got the supply and demand from here. We have a middle level supply supply and demand here. Okay, you as you see what happened with these prices. You know, end up falling here. All right. So right now the market is currently uh moving to the upside right here. We got a trend line up on here. And we also have a, a bullish pin bar right here. Okay, so right now that's giving that giving us the indication that this market is moving to the upside. We have momentum on the MACD. Okay, all all positive up here. This is a day chart, so this is representing each candle represents one day. So we're looking for during this day, it's gonna take out this high of eighty eight twenty eight. Okay, right now it's about to reach eighty eight eighty eight hundred. Okay, now if you was able to catch this thing earlier when it got in the supply demand zone, and therefore you can see where the trades are. Stochastic was uh, oversold. All right. We had a uh, downside momentum here. If this wasn't even available, you knew this was going to be the next trade. Right here. You could even did it like this here as well. You knew it was the next trade. All right. So we know that the market is possibly now we have some rejection at this price, okay? It did get rejected at this price a few times. So right now we're gonna see whether the market's gonna go blow through that. More than likely with a engulfing candle through through the uh European session. <laughs> so if that if that's the case, we're gonna we're expecting a eighty eight pip, eighty nine and ninety pip move here to the upside. Okay, I'm expecting this to go C eighty eight, eighty nine, nine, okay? And get into this next supply zone. And at that point, you know, on the day chart, you want to see whether this this level become overbought and see whether this thing's gonna fall once it get at that price. All right. We can take a look at this thing on the smaller time frame. Let's go down to the two hour, see what we got here. Since we have the trend line drawn, and here, here we go, we got an old bought conditions before that we could, that when you could have caught this 87.16 price here, excuse me, here for the buy earlier, not long, we knew it was the next, we knew it as the, what was the next available trade coming here. All right. We knew that was going to happen. Boom. You know, you got stochastic coming down below and now we have some upside and it has very little momentum on this thing. So do expect some more momentum to add to this chart. Okay. Expect that. That will, that will be more, uh, momentum histogram bars, uh, well, positive up bars coming soon. Okay. We're going to expect this thing is break through 88.28. And all the way and go all the way north as 88, 89, 88, 89, 9. All right. So that's kind of our, our analysis uh, on this pair. Uh, I was just checking out, guys. Oh, make sure, make sure you guys uh, smash that like button, smash that notific notification button. Okay. Make sure you uh, comment. Let me let me know what you guys think about the format and what you think about this analysis.
okay uh, also share on your pages share wherever you can really share that share it amongst your friends share it on your uh, Facebook Instagram uh, anywhere anywhere you're able to share information to okay but uh, I would definitely highly appreciate that you guys you know uh, right now if you go back to you see go to my channel you see I'm at uh, 558 uh, subscribers guys I'm trying to reach that 1,000 uh, plateau guys I'm trying to break that wide open you know I, I need you guys help with that uh, that's the only way I can get that thing done all right so uh, make sure you uh, like and subscribe comment and share man I thank you so much guys you guys have a good day